Welcome to Kids Do Positive Things. to the Kids Do Positive Things Show. I'm Cleveland, your host. We are filming today at the Grove Studio located in Memphis, Tennessee. We have for our guest today, legendary producer and songwriter, Mr. David Porter. We are going to be learning about the consortium, MMT, and what David Porter has planned for young talent and rising musicians. Mr. Porter was born in Memphis, Tennessee and has always made Memphis his home. He is a successful business and civic leader, having served on the board of many organizations. Mr. Porter is also a part of the Stax Museum of American Soul Music. In 2005, David Porter and his songwriter partner and lifelong friend Isaac Hayes were inducted into the National Songwriters Hall of Fame. Thank you for joining us. I'm Cleveland, host and musician. And I'm Adam Miles, guitarist. Mr. Porter, thank you for coming out to the Kids Do Positive Things show. I am so, so happy that I had the opportunity to hear you guys play. I was just totally blown away. What a guitarist, what a drummer. <laughs> thank Boy, you. Boy, it sounds like a great time, huh? Yeah. All right. We are so excited to be here with you at the Grove Studio. Well, what a studio. I was, I was coming in and I had heard about it. And when I heard the great music coming in, I said, well, wait a minute, who is that in there? Yeah. See you guys cooking like this, what a great room, huh? It's, it's yeah. fantastic, and you guys are certainly good. Thank you. Ms. Thank Porter, you. before we get started, I just want to let you know, the first song I ever learned on drums was Soul Man. You're kidding. No, it was <laughs> the first song. That's how I got my um, drumming technique, was from Soul Man. Well, that is that is a great, great compliment, Cleveland, to, to hear you say that. And that song actually was written in the 60s, 1967, as a matter wow. of fact. And so to, to know that it's still around and with, with all of the popularity that is, that is enjoyed over throughout the years is a great honor for me. And then to hear you say that that got you started is a tremendous compliment. Thank you. Tremendous. So how did you know you wanted to be a musician and songwriter? Well, I, as I was talking to Adam earlier, I mentioned that uh, for me, I started writing songs. Uh, my first original song was in the sixth grade, but also um, I, I was a, a singer mm -hmm. and I, I sang in church. There was a guy by the name of Maurice White. You guys won't know that name by the name, yeah. but if I say Earth, Wind and Fire, you will. Well, you may know that Maurice is from Memphis as well. And we, we live four doors from each other and we, we sang together at a church called Rose Hill Baptist Church. And uh, we were singing at, at, at that church and I, I knew that I wanted to be in the music business. I knew that I, I didn't know it was business. I knew that's what I wanted to do. 
And so I started learning and being influenced by those sounds that I would hear on the radio and ultimately led me to wanting to create, as you were doing, uh, Adam, earlier when you were writing there, when you were playing there. And it just got me enthused and excited about the opportunity of, of learning more about it. And, and from that point on, I fell in love and it has never stopped. So what was your inspiration? Well, some of, some of the things I'd like to say uh, were, were complimentary to me in that regard was the fact that, that the church was a, a real, real important part of my life early on. And just knowing that, that I was able to connect with people emotionally with the gift that God had given me with my voice was something that, that really made me know that it was something that I could have a passion for. And I followed through from that state, step to presently where I am today. Cool. So through the Memphis Chamber, you are doing some incredible things in the music industry, what does the Consortium MMT mean? So glad you asked me that. <laughs> well, you know, uh, I've had a career that spanned about 50 years. And when you think in terms of 50 years, there's a lot of happened, a lot of things have happened during that time. But a lot of great things, and a lot of things that have given me the insight and application steps from the creative processes to do music on a commercial level that, that could be heard and respected all over the world. And having learned those kinds of things, I wanted to be able to, to give back to the community that, that got me started, that supported me early on. And Memphis was that place that did that for me. And so because of that motivation, I wanted to create something that would be a platform to help young, talented guys like you guys to be Im impressed with some of the information that some of us who've had success in the business have had. We'd like to share and pass that on to you guys. So you represent the future of what the music and entertainment business will, will ultimately be years and years from now. And so the program its goals is simply to do that, to give you information relating to songwriting or record producing or recording artists that you can develop additional skills in addition to what you are already are gifted to do. That's what the Consortium MMT's program is. Cool. I know we have some very talented young artists in our city. How do you plan to capture and develop their talent? Well, the key thing is creating a platform for them to know that they can come to a place and find resources and opportunities to help them develop their skills. Mm -hmm. Just creating a, a, a place that, for instance, we have giving input to talents in our program. In videos, we have people like Earth, Wind and Fire. We have people like Bobby Womack. We have great songwriters like Valerie Simpson, uh, the writer of I'm Every Woman and, and Ain't Nothing Like the Real Thing. Some of the great R&B standards of all time. Producers like Jimmy Jam, who, who are also working with our program. Producers like uh, uh, Crucial, who produces Alicia Keys. So we have some great, great creative people who are giving their input to our program so that we in turn could pass it on to you guys. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We'll be right back. The Kids Do Positive Things organization has created an exciting and innovative new way to reach out to the kids in our communities. The KDPT show is designed to highlight kids in a positive way. The show focuses on education, arts, academics, sports, and music. We want to strengthen our city and communities with positive energy from our youth. Through the Kids Do Positive Things TV show, we can encourage thousands of kids to set goals, pursue their dreams, and be the best they can be. The Kids Do Positive Things organization is a local 501c3 nonprofit organization benefiting kids ages 5 to 17. We are asking business leaders, school officials, youth organizations, parents, and most of all, kids to get involved and partner with the Kids Do Positive Things organization. Your sponsorship and donations are welcome to benefit the ongoing efforts of this program. For more information on sponsorship and or donations, please go to our website at kdptshow.com. Thank you. Me and Cleveland are both uh, musicians and we enjoy playing and writing songs and I was just wondering how could we prepare to be part of the um, Conditorium MMT? Well let me say this to you Adam, I, th I think you're already on, the st on, the st on steps, positive steps to do doing that. When I heard you guys play, 
and I was I was looking looking at how one how into the music you were. Well, I think that going through your school years as you are do now doing, as you're learning more and more about it, by the time you finish the high school facet of it, and you decide that you want to pursue this more as a career, then you are you're taking all of the necessary steps right now and things that you guys are doing right now to be able to apply for the Consortium MMT's program because this will give you the opportunity to find out additional things that add complement to the gifts that you already have. And I, I have to be honest with you guys, I saw some gifts when you guys were playing. <laughs> Thank you. So I, I think you're already doing the necessary things to prepare to get into the Consortium MMT. Great. So can you give us like a couple of tips for singing and songwriting? Well, the, 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 let me just, See if I can think of a couple of tips for songwriting. You know, there's so many ways to, to make expressions mean so many different things. Right. And so if you're saying the same expression the same way everyone else does, then you're limiting yourself for having an opportunity to get your place in the marketplace where people will come out and buy it. But if you are able to come up with ideas and say it in a fresh, creative way about emotions that people all feel, then you have a chance for your idea to stand out and people gravitate to it because of its uniqueness. So you want to be able to understand that you're, you're, you're creating material based on the emotions that everybody all feel, but you're finding a unique way to express it. And doing that gives you an opportunity to connect with an audience that may in, in, decide that they want to buy it. Mm -hmm. And that calls you to be a professional in doing it. Wow. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about, about trying to think about how other people feel. Well, the whole key to it is, is, is thinking about, because it's a marketplace, mm. is thinking about how you can connect emotionally with other people. So in your playing, in your, the way you're playing, you're playing through yourself for other people. Mm. So you want to make the emotion that you have for the passion that you're expressing with the notes that you're playing have some potential All to right. connect with an audience. The same thing with, with, with drums. As you're playing the drum and, and the lyric or the singer is going, doing something emotionally that's impactful emotionally for them, then you have the opportunity based on your skills to do something complementary to that emotion. So that means you're into it, you're feeling it, you're feeling the song, you're feeling the message, you're feeling the whole creative idea mm -hmm. about what you're working on. And that's called soul. That's oh. called getting into the soulfulness of it. Wow. And that's what you want to do. Well, this is great news for the city of Memphis and the consortium. It's going to allow opportunities for young rising musicians. It will be incredible to work with music legends from all over the world. Well, we're looking forward to having talented talents like you guys to be a part of it. And that's what makes it all worthwhile. That's what makes it all worthwhile. Mr. Porter, thank you so much for coming out and being a part of the set. I've had a great, great time. Thank you. It's an honor to meet you. It was, and it, we were very excited for you to come out. Well, guys, I tell you, just to see young talents like you makes me know that the future of this community is in great hands because you both are very, very talented and certainly wish you well, and I've enjoyed myself. Thank you. Wow, what a time I've had. And meeting some very, very talented young individuals and, and understanding that kids do positive things they're actually happening in our community. The great thing about opportunities is that when you are able to pursue passions and dreams that you have, you're able to make things happen based on your convictions and your dedication to wanting to do great things with your life. So I would encourage each of you young people that are looking and, and uh, looking at this show to understand that the future is yours. The passion that you have for what you want in life lives inside of you. If it's music, if it's whatever it is, work with it with a kind of passion and dedication that, that maximizes and takes advantage of all the great things that's inside of you because in each and every one of you greatness lives and greatness wants to come out it just wants you to push it a little bit keep pushing great being on the set with Mr. Porter. And I look forward to being a part of the consortium. Me too. It sounds like the class is going to be very exciting. 
How long does it usually take you to write a song? Well, depending on how hard the song is, I don't know, sometimes it can be about a month or so, but that's a long time. Yeah. But um, normally I can, it's just me, I guess everyone's different, but about a week most of the times for writing a song. Mm -hmm. And the advice that Miss Reporter gave us about songwriting, about thinking about other people's feelings, yeah, I know. That never, I never, I, it never registered to right. me about thinking about other people and putting it in my song. Right. So, um, it's great. And we want to invite any of the kids in our community to be a part of the show. For more information, go to kdptshow.com. We hope to see you soon.
are spotlighting 12 year old Marla Nichols. Marla is a backup dancer for Saturday. Marla does gymnastics, plays basketball for Memphis School of Excellence, and she is on the student council at her school. Marla has taken her dance to the next level by traveling across the states with her dance shows. She has traveled to Orlando, Florida, Chicago, Atlanta, Dallas, Los Angeles, and of course, her hometown, Memphis. Marla's message to the kids is never give up on your dreams and always strive to be the best. We want to thank Marla for being a positive kid in the community. kids can you say this word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious now can you spell it s-u-p-e-r-c-a-l-i-f-r-a-g-i-l-i-s-t-i-c-e-x-p-a-l-i-d-i-o-u-s See, we're having a lot of fun on the Kids Who Positive Things set. Hope to see you soon.
kids, we want to thank you for watching the show. This show was created just for you, to empower you, to inspire you, and to encourage you. Remember, you are an amazing kid. Just dream big. We can change the world. Just be a positive kid. Oh, and don't forget, kids do positive things.